Hi everyone and welcome back to Crochet by Sean. Today we are going to be making bowl covers. So if you're tired of burning your fingers on those microwave bowls, you just take them out of the microwave and slip them into a cover. It'll be easier to hang on to. And no more burning your fingers. So we are going to be using a size K crochet hook and a heavy four ply worsted weight yarn. I am going to be using a bright green so you can see the stitches. And we're going to chain five. And then we're going to form a ring out of it. So just slip stitch that together. Pull the tail back to the side because we're just going to crochet it right in. And we're going to do 16 double crochets. So we need to chain three for the first one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and I just squish them back around the ring to fit them. 13, 14, 15, and 16. And then we're just going to go in the top of the chain three we made, under both bars, and slip stitch. Now we're going to do two double crochet, so we chain three, there's our first one. We're going to do two in each stitch. So go in that one we just joined in and add another double crochet. And so we'll have 32 all the way around now. So there's three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, remember we're doing two in each one all the, round, all the way around, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. We're just going to slip stitch back in the top of the chain three there under both bars. Maybe. Okay. So we have the first row and then we increased in this row. The next row we're just going to do one in each row in each stitch around. So we're still going to have 32. We're going to start shaping the bowl here. So two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, whoops, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, and thirty-two. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and slip stitch this one right back up in here too. Give me some more yarn. Okay, you can see it's starting to shape the bowl now. Now we're going to do another increase row. So we're going to chain three for our double crochets. But we're only going to increase in every other stitch. So we're going to leave this as one and then do two in here for two and three. And one in the next one, four, two in the next one, five and six. And we're going to end up with 48 stitches this way. There's seven and then two in the next one eight and nine, one in the next, two in the next, one in this one, Oops. two in this one, one in this one, two in this one, one and two and one and two and one and two One, two, one, and two, and one, and two, one in here. Two in here, one in here, two in here, one in here, two in here, one in this one, and two in the last one. And you should have 48 stitches. And then we're just going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three like we do. And slip stitch it together. Okay, this is the basis of our bowl. The rest of the rows, we're just going to do one stitch in each row around. So you chain three, 
and then just one in each stitch around. One double crochet. So you have 48 double crochet all the way around again. And you're going to keep doing this last row, this just straight 48 stitches, one in each stitch, just like this, this row we're on here, you're going to want to go until you have eight rows. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But you just keep doing four more of the same one. On the very last row, we are going to do something different. It makes a tighter edge so it fits up on your bowl nice. So we're going to chain two on row nine and we're just going to half double crochet in each one. That's just yarn over, pull up your loop, draw through all three. It makes a tighter stitch. If you do this as a finishing edge, so it holds up and stays on your bowl better. But just one half double crochet in each stitch around, so you'll have 48 of those. And you can work in variegated, you can work in solids. I just happen to have a variegated one ready to show the top row that was different. Because otherwise the basis of the bowl, those first four rows are different. Everything is the same after that. So it's just yarn over and pull through all three. Yarn over and pull through all three. But it's just enough instead of another double crochet row because that would be too much on top of the bowl. So I do the half double because it does pull it together a little tighter. It makes a nice finish for the top of the bowl. But no more burning your fingers on the bowls from the microwave. Just slide them out and slip them into the covers. Yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, pull through all three. Then when you get to the end, go into the top two there, the second one, because we chain two for the half double. And snip your yarn. All you have to do is tuck your ends, but it'll fit just nice into your bowl. And cover the top. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like us. And we will see you next time when we do my best ever double thick pot holders. Thanks. Bye.